morning, guys. This is Pinky, the housewife. And guess what it is? Coffee time. <clears throat> Remember last night when I did my commentary on Love and Marriage Huntsville, I said we're going to, let me just do this, we're going to, why? We're going to do coffee in the morning. I said, meet me for coffee in the morning. And I hope you still got your pajamas on because I'm going to show you, because I want to show you, I still got mine on. I got on pajamas too. But guess what I got on? My alien socks. You know, when I have these alien socks on, they give me courage. I got so many, they, they help give me that courage to talk about these, these demons, these Ugh, crazies, these clowns, this foolery. Yes, yes, yes. It gives me that courage. Let me take another sip because uh, I did start a little before you drinking it, but I just didn't finish it. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't plan on adding that cough out either. Okay. Let me just say this. Okay. That everything is alleged. This is my opinion, my opinion only. The video that I'm making is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Okay, so <clears throat> we got that out of the way. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I don't know what's wrong. But anyway, let me just say this. If you noticed last night's episode, that was episode number. 12, I think it was. Let me just check to make sure. But I think it was 12. Um, yeah. Okay. It was. That was the episode with um, titled, we, we Scott a Monster Issue. We Scott a Monster Issue. <coughs> you know, where um, Maurice and Kimmy and Maurice's ex-wife, ex-wife, um, Kawa, had to, uh, Maurice called the family meeting to talk about monster, the issues. <clears throat> okay, but we're not going to go into the storyline, okay? What we're going to go into is, I didn't want to bring this up last night, but after I finished watching the show, you know, because I do take notes sometimes, but not one note that I took, I never came across a, let me just say this, and I know this is by design. This is, when I say by design, I actually mean by design. Because not once did they show Melanie, Miss Van, which is her mother, mother and daughter, the two smart people, the two sophisticated people, the two educated people, the two uh, got a real life, got real storylines got uh, showing their business, showing what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? They're not hood rats. They're not gutter snipes. They're not evil and the devil. They're not uh, side chicks. They're not none of that, okay? Criminals. Oh, just allegedly. All those things I said was just allegedly. They're not ATM stealers. Uh, they're not uh, none of that. They're not criminals. Uh, with a uh, gory past as possession of controlled substance like marijuana and during that time right now i'm not talking about your people everybody that use it for medical use or use it in states that's legal i'm talking about somebody else i'm not talking about nobody else but this one particular person okay now that's what i'm talking about this one particular person not nobody else i can understand everybody else uh, you're in states that, that is legal. You're doing you're doing it because you need it for for it's your medication. It's your medicine to help you to uh, be able to do what you need to do in life. You know, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about one particular person on this show. Okay, one particular person on this show. Now, if the other ones fall in with it, too, then I'm talking about them, too. 
But I ain't talking about nobody else outside of the show. Okay, so I understand that. But I'm not calling no names. You know who he is. I'm not calling no names. But anyway, I did not see Kiki on the show, her and her husband. And Kiki been doing a lot of lives and interviews. Letting us know that her and her husband been doing their filming, but they're not, they filmed. But where are they? Why did you cut them out? Why did you cut out uh, Mel, Miss Van? Why did you cut out Tiffany and Big Lou? These, the people you cut out, let me just say this. Melody got a storyline, shows her real life, and she's not ratchet and none of that. She's the only one on the, Melody makes the show. Miss Van is her mother. She makes the show, but you don't have her on there. You rather have fake storylines. You rather have criminals, just my opinion, and everything is alleged. But you rather have those. You rather have people that lies from the moment they wake up and open their eyes and mouth to the moment they go to bed and probably still be talking in their sleep line. If you record them while they're sleeping, they probably be talking in their sleep, just lying away. You rather have them on the show. Okay, you rather have them on the show with all their lies, okay? With all their lies. They'll make a, a mockery of, of what a black family looks like. Melanie got on the uh, said that y'all cut Miss Van out during her daughter's birthday party when she was standing by the, uh, not the oldest, but the middle uh, daughter. Yes, y'all cut, cut both of those out. You cut her mother out on purpose, intent. That was an intentional thing. You've been cutting Kiki out. You even uh, been cutting, now it, Tiffany is being cut out. Who else is gonna be cut out? Tiffany got a life. She got a big Lou. They just had a baby. We wanna see that. Okay, we didn't see nothing about her going to the hospital and having a baby. We didn't see nothing about her at home no more than uh, when she got sick after the uh, the uh, baby shower with all those heathens and gutter snipes and, and devilish people there trying to start mess at a table. We didn't see none of that. First she started at the birthday party. For one of the kids and that's that's unforgivable because those kids shouldn't have been done like that those are kids that you're scheming against and you know who i'm talking about and then you um cut out the mother uh miss van then you cutting out uh kiki and her husband and, you, and she's a she's a poor cast member now so her husband comes along with the package because that's her husband. Like you show everybody else's husband that's no good. Why don't you show her husband with her? What, what you trying to make her look deranged and everything? And like she ain't got a family? She don't have a husband? Yes, she do. She belongs to that same simple child, Tisha. They're in the same family. They're cousins. I know. Big Lou, what did Big Lou, and Big Lou do to you for you to cut out him and his newborn child? What did he do to you? Because he got a life? Because he loves his wife? No. Anybody that got any kind of love, compassion, and don't go around fighting and, 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 and kicking and screaming and lying and, and, and doing all that, you want to cut him out. That's what we want to see. We don't want to see those Scots brothers with the hips, butt, and thighs with their simple wife. Wives, should I say. But Kimmy is waking up. 
She was following along with the game plan last last reunion when she would not take up for Mel because she had to follow along with the game plan. But she's waking up because she see they're all going after her now. Last night that was that was let's get Kimmy and let's put her back in her place. Maurice, you started it by throwing her under the bus, going down that wrong road. And I think I know why. Because she can't do what you want her to do, huh? Yeah. Because what you say, you, you need to have at least three times a day or a couple times a day or, or maybe every day. And she said she can't do what you need her to do. She can't raise your son like, like she raised hers. She can't uh, keep up with all the things and she asking y'all to do things and help her out. That's getting too much for you. Seems like she's waking up. Remember the scene when she went to talk to Mel? Uh, when Mel was at the uh, in that front yard doing her, uh, what do you call that? Uh, it'll come to me. Where she had uh, some of her students uh, with one of her uh, previous students uh, that uh, men helped mentoring those other new students. Uh, frustration? It'll come to me how exactly. But anyway. Yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. Kimmy had to go talk to Mel because she knew if she tell Mel, Mel is not going to go around. But if she tell Tiffany, Tiffany going to go around and tell everybody her business. It'd be all on Front Street before the show. Uh, so she went to talk to Mel. Now you see, Kimmy, you need Mel now. You need somebody that you can trust. Mel threw you a a, a, a congratulation party, a celebration after your chemo. And she paid for it. And she had it looking nice. And she invited everybody. But you 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 you, you, you couldn't speak up for during the reunion. But now when you, you you need her now, don't you? You're gonna need her a lot more now because them Scots gonna drag you down right with them. You had a career when you met that man. You had a home when you met that man. Now it's your home and his home. You're still taking care of that man. Because that man don't work. Maurice don't work. And he throwing you under the bus every chance he get going down that wrong road. You see what you married. Marceau, and let me just say this. This is just my opinion. Not nobody else. Marceau and Maurice is looking at Martel. Montel got something holding over all of y'all's head, all of those Scott brothers' head. So they can't move the way they want to move. They have to move the way Martel wants them to move. And you know he's a snake in the grass with the devil uh, as, his, as his role model. That's why he's looking like one now. Just, just, just how Miss Betty looks. They both enjoying that devilish party. Just my opinion, my opinion only, and it's alleged. But they looking at Martel. Martel is just got trying to be qualifying as a pimp, but you ain't no pimp, man. You try trying to qualify. You you can't qualify because they don't want nobody like you. Okay, you don't even know how to qualify. Okay, you pimping all these women out by uh, just my opinion, my opinion only. Uh, yeah. Well, they drinking that Kool Aid of yours. Belinda Sanders drinking it. Uh, Sheree drank it so long, she just got crazy. And uh, coleslaw. Ariel drank it. That girl is just drunk now. <laughs> she can't see straight. Yeah, she can't see straight at all. Yes, she can't see straight at all. None at all. Okay? So, yeah. So, they see even how he's moving with all these women and chicks right out in the open. So, they want to be like him now. Because Maurice can't get what he want all the time now. He let you know by sliding it in slowly. 
what he's going to do, putting it in your head, right? And my soul, I already got Tisha already kind of crazy anyway. Whatever he say goes. She been used to that. But Maurice is trying to train you because you, you've been hard to train, you know. And I heard, yeah, on the, and then they, they trying to do these spinoffs, okay? CK is trying to do all these spinoffs because I don't think this got very long. And I understand the people that say they're going to black it out. They're going to block out, do a block out. They're not going to watch it. I understand. Yes, I do. I understand exactly why they're doing it and the reason why and how they feel about it. Because I feel the same way too. But somebody got to report on your nastiness. Somebody got to report on your lies. Somebody got to make sure they keep their eyes open to let everybody else that's doing the block, block, blocking it out, uh, black out, and the ones that's not watching it, we got to keep them informed. Because if we don't keep them informed, then nothing but the pick means and the devilish people and the gutter snipes like the ones on the show will get out there and spread the lies. And so they, we don't want them to think that's what's going on. That's the truth. No, we got to let them know what's going on. Because somebody got the hell males back, and that's us. That's us millimeters. Yes, we're her eyes. I got mine in the back of my head. And if you don't have none in the back of your head, get a, get a third one. Just get that third one and put it right there. That's what we're doing. We're not going to let her fight this battle by herself. We're here 100%. Ten toes deep, okay? Yes. That's what they're so afraid of. That's what they cannot stand. Yes. yes. We think like we should think. We think with a logical mind. We think with sense. We think with what makes sense. We don't believe the lies. Because you showed us who you are. And y'all know who I'm talking about. The Scots. The Maurice. The, uh, the Marceau. The uh, Martell, the Tisha, the Wanda's, the Crazy Baddies, the, oh yeah, I haven't forgotten you, Miss Stormy, Crazy Stormy, just like your Crazy Mama, Betty. Yes, we haven't forgotten you. Even your sister said your mama is evil and crazy, and I believe her, because I have said that before I even seen your sister said it. Yes. Talking about spin off. Yeah, because he knows the ship is going down. So he's trying to get everything else lined up. Spending all those little little interviews. I saw your interview with some of them that you was looking unhappy and your face and, and cock-eyed and, and, and not treating them the same, asking them like good, uh, certain questions like you did your favorites. You try to ask your favorite questions that, ooh, just so like, and then you go after the other ones, trying to make them look bad, asking them questions that make them look bad. Yeah, yes. So you all, let me, let me uh, drink a little coffee. Coffee keeps me calm. Yeah, I got to have my one cup a day. I can't do more than one. If I do more than one, I be jumping all over this bed, acting a fool. But I be in my house acting a fool. In my own bed acting a fool. Yeah. But don't keep, don't, don't get it twisted. I'm nobody's fool. I said acting a fool. I didn't say I was a fool. I said if I drink my more than two, one cup. Now get get it right. If I drink more than one cup, okay. I wasn't raised as, we ain't going to talk about me. Let's talk about these fools, okay? And Stormy, I hear that you're so upset because you can't have, you want to have a party because Mel had her renaming ceremony. So now you want to throw a party. You want to throw a party and invite that cold 
uh, coleslaw. I don't know whether it's true, but I heard uh, you was trying to be nice. You 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 trying to be nice to Melanie. I wonder why. But no, no, baby. You stay right where you are with your crazy family. You stay right there with that crazy family and that crazy mama of yours. Okay? We don't need you coming out. You stay right there. Because we see you with all that debt that you got. All that debt that you got. Took out another second mortgage on your house to help pay for all that other debt that you got. We ain't talking no hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, seven hundred thousand or whatever. We talking about over a million dollars and something. Almost what? One million seven hundred and something? Thousand? Yes, girl. If you was rich, you hear me? If you was rich, not hood rat rich, gutter snipe rich, maybe, and you're not that smart either. Because you don't even know how to run a business. You got that crazy mama running your business. Making your decisions for you. But I heard everything y'all did was nothing but a, a, a little storyline. Fake. Fake. And I heard the conversation you and your husband had in the car. Girl, ain't nobody think. I'm not going to even report on that doozy of a conversation y'all had uh, last night in the car. On the show. It don't even make no sense because the whole storyline was fake. But I heard you trying to throw a party. You want to throw a party. Who you going to throw a party with? You need to get those orders out. Like Canvas Beauty? It's been terminated. Yes, that was terminated. That's why you using uh, Canvas uh, 2.0. Yeah, because you can't use the Camus, uh beauty brand no more. It's been terminated. And you can't even use but one of those products. That butter. What is it? The glazed butter or whatever that stuff called? I don't know because I don't use it. I've never bought nothing from you and won't buy nothing from you. I don't buy nothing from people like you. I wouldn't even waste my money. And I got a, I got a lot of it. The pockets is empty. But... But that's okay. I will not spend my money on you. Give you my money. Just like I wouldn't spend my money on old copy t-shirt. But I'm not going to stay too long. I just want y'all to know that, yes, for the ones that uh, was on the blackout last night and did not watch the show and, uh, and not going to watch the show, they cut Melanie out, Miss Van, uh, uh, Kiki and her husband, and, and Tiffany and uh, Big Lou. Big Lou never done nothing to nobody. Tiffany got a little smart mouth. I can understand you don't want to watch her because she got a smart mouth. Her little smart ass, smart ass mouth. You may have to. But anyway, and then I understand you may not want to uh, watch uh, some of them. But, but Miss Van and I with Melanie, oh yes. And Tiffany, I'm giving... I'm, I'm liking T Tiffany never done nothing to nobody. Tiffany, not Tiffany, uh, I, I mean, rewind it. Uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, Kiki. Kiki. Haven't done and refused to go after Mel like, the, like they wanted her to do. You know who y'all are. Y'all wanted her to go after Mel. And she did not. So, by design, just cutting her out. Because she said if she go after Mel, she got a lot of followers and everything. Just like Mel. No, Mel, like she said, never done nothing to her. Mel haven't been nothing but nice to her and good to her. So why would she go after somebody that have been nothing but good to her? And a friend to her. Make that make sense. We're not crazy like... like the pick me's. We're not crazy like y'all. Okay? We don't believe those lies. You can't tell us that and think we're going to believe it. No. No. Got to have some coffee on that? No. Everything is alleged and it's just my opinion. 
Okay, but I got to go, guys, because I got to tell you, when my coffee starts getting cold, I got to go. It ain't getting cold. It ain't got cold, because remember, I told y'all I was drinking it before I even started uh, rolling tape, but it's cold, and I don't drink cold coffee. Well, if I had to, I would, but I'm not drinking no cold coffee, so... I'm getting ready to go, guys. Do one thing for me. Let me uh, put my music on. And I had a great time talking with y'all this morning. Yes, I always like doing morning time. Morning times is uh, one of my favorites. Um, yes, it is. I need you all to do this for me, okay? We're going to hit. Y'all like my pajamas? These are Victoria's Secrets, too, okay? Uh you're going to hit the uh, subscribe button, okay? You're going to hit the um, like, the thumbs up. And then you're going to uh, go ahead and hit the notification bell to keep me in the algorithm. So every time I put out something or drop something, you'll get it, okay? So let's do that for me. And also, leave me a comment on what makes sense to you. And if it don't make sense to you, what have you heard a little tea? Just let me know. You can contact me. Just let me know. All right? And also, I do want to say, guys, happy Sunday. Okay, happy Sunday. And guess what? We are almost at our goal. I need just 189 watch hours. My, my subscribers, I bun hit that long time ago. But I just need 189 watch hours. So if you all can do one thing for me this Sunday, go ahead and watch it. I just need everybody to watch two or three of my long videos, not the shorts right now. We're focusing on the, uh, the long ones, okay? Watch two or three all the way through. And if you don't have time to watch it all the way through, just, just mute your phone, just put it on, and just let it play. And you can watch it back later, okay? And make sure you hit that thumbs up. I really need you to hit that thumbs up. And if you have not to subscribe, go ahead and hit subscribe. Don't cost you nothing. You're doing it for your girl here, Pinky the Housewife, okay? I just need 189 watch hours. And I'm going to ask you next time. Do you know, put it in the comments. If you heard me say 189, put 189. 189. If you can put that 189, I know you heard me, okay? All right, guys. And, uh, and if your kids got phones, just play it on their phones, too. Your mama got a phone, get her phone and your daddy's phone and play it on his, too. Okay? Your grandma got a phone, play it on hers, too. I just need those watch hours. And if you can do more than two or three videos, just put it on autoplay. Okay? Thank you, guys. Love you.